Hello, Karen Wolf here in the art studio. I hope I'm on the right page. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> oh shoot. Jenny, am I on my business page? I hope so. <laughs> oh shoot. I think I am. This is Karen Wolf here in the art studio. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hey, Jeannie, Tammy. Uh, I am a painter and I teach adults and children how to paint and become better painters in my art studio and online. I'm in the art studio this evening and I thought I would just, um, I'm just gonna do something real different. I know, I'm just weird. Um, well, not something different that I've painted. I've painted the daisies before, but um, I want to paint them on some uh, on a piece of wood thing that I found at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I found this at Walmart the other day. Couldn't decide whether I wanted the boards to go sideways or up and down, so I, I've decided on horizontally. But uh, I've... I've don't go to Walmart very often anymore, but I've been in there a couple times and they had them on a, an end of a pallet, of a end cap in the store, you know, end of the shelf, stacked up there. And I've walked by them several times and every time I walk by, I walk by and I look at them as I'm walking by. <laughs> you guys have probably done this before, y'all do this. And I looked at them as I was walking by and I kept on walking. And I got two or three foot, and I stopped, dead in my tracks. And I backed up, and I looked at them. I even picked them up and looked at them. And I thought, hmm, that'd be really cute to paint something on that, but I don't know what. But I think Joe could make that, my husband. And I thought, well, I'll get it later, or I'll have him make it. So I went on. Well, I went in Walmart again <laughs> after the third time of doing that. I picked one up and put it in my buggy. <laughs> uh, do you all do that? I do. Oh, my gosh. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to paint something on it. I'm going to paint the daisies on it. So I've already got a little sketch out. So I'm going to um, paint this, something similar to this, on here. So while I chit chat with you all this evening. So I'm going to pull this forward. So it's closer, so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see? Yeah, okay. All right, and then I'm gonna get you down here because I don't, I don't know if I can see uh, comments and so on and so forth. All right, I'm gonna turn this sound off. All right, cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wing it. I, like I said, I don't even know if this will work, but I'm, I'm gonna try, hey, you know. You never know. So I'm gonna go in and paint this daisy painting on this piece of wood that I bought at the Walmart. I can't even remember how much it was. It was on an end cap. It was probably too much. But gosh, isn't wood expensive now? Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Wood is crazy expensive. Wood's different to paint on, so it's a different animal. It is a different animal. But if you all like to paint, and um, and you're interested in uh, painting with me, and you like this online stuff here, this virtual, I just took some sienna and some yellow. Now I took some yellow and I added just a little bit of white to it, just to lighten those a little bit. I may add more flowers. This is a little bigger than that, so I'm probably going to add more flowers. Um, but if you like to paint with, paint with me. Oh, uh, it's not showing comments down here either. I don't know. It's so crazy. Facebook is crazy. All right. Uh, anyhow, if you like to paint with me and you like to, like what you see here and you want to you want more uh, 
more to paint and you want to paint with me, you like the videos that I do. Um, I have uh, just opened my All Access membership today. Yay! All Access membership is open today. So fun. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and what it is, I'm just getting a little gray going over here, a little gray blue color. I'm doing some sienna, a little bit of blue, making a gr little bit of a gray blue color. And I'm using acrylic. I'm using, um, what I'm using now is the uh, Liquitex Basics acrylic. For the centers, I just used some sienna and yellow, and then I did some sienna and white. Um, And wood's different to paint on, so you have to just be patient with it. Usually you have to add a little bit of water and make your paint a little bit more liquid so it flows onto the, the wood a little better. Um, but if you like what you, uh, what you see and you want to paint more with me, the All Access membership is open, and what it is is a membership that if you join, it gives you access to the online tutorials library, and you can paint from those tutorials. You get the tutorial, you get a supplies list, You get a template, or as long as you're in the membership, you have access to the full painting tutorials library. And that library has over 50 paintings in it right now, 50 painting tutorials in it right now. And I open the membership twice a year, and I just opened it today. It hasn't been open since back in November, December, when I first opened it. Uh, after my website was put together and I closed it and I just opened it today and it'll be open and this is a rough piece of wood now it, and I told you I didn't know how this was going to go it'll be open through um, Friday evening Friday at midnight this coming Friday the 23rd at midnight and there's a link to join you go to my website you go to the uh, rbycarenwolf.com and to join you just click on the memberships tab and then it'll take you to the memberships the drop down menu and then the all access membership will come up and you click on there and it'll give you more information isn't this uh, crazy? This wood is crazy. Um, but I thought this would be something, just something different, something fun to do. I was trying to think of something to paint this evening, and I, sometimes I just can't come up with stuff. I just uh, painted so much and come in here and painted so much for you guys. I just couldn't think of a thing to paint. So I thought, well, I had this piece of wood laying there where I bought it at Walmart. I thought, I'll try that. <laughs> See how that rolls. Sometimes things turn out great, and sometimes times things don't turn out so great. So you just have to try it. And I tell you guys that all the time. Paint and paint afraid. You know. Paint and paint afraid. But if we're going along here and y'all have any questions about the, the membership, uh, ask. I'm not sure if I'll see your comments now having a, a hard time seeing comments. Facebook's changing things again. And uh, I tried to see them on my iPad and I, that didn't work. So I'm not sure. No, still not working. I don't know, that's weird. Um, but anyhow, it's, it's open now and just wanted to uh, get on here and answer questions if y'all had any questions about it. 
It's a great place to paint. It's a community of artists in a group. And we um, just paint together uh, online. I, I record the tutorials and then you all paint and watch the videos. And I go inside of a Facebook group sometimes and record videos and paint with you in there. And um, you can ask questions and post your paintings and get inspiration from each other is what I want people to do. Hint, hint. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Um, but right now I'm just painting this, these daisies on this board that I bought at Walmart. So y'all can just watch me paint. And if y'all like to paint, maybe this is something that you all would like to do. They have them over there. They're on like an end cap. Um, just out down from the, the crafts and things. Wood's different. It's way different. And it's kind of like, I don't know if you've all, have y'all ever painted on slates? Um, slates is like that. So, um, it has a, like a rough texture. And boy, this, I've painted on some wood, but I'm telling you what, this has a grain to it now. It is not forgiving, but I think this is going to look pretty. Y'all think it's going to look pretty? I do. I'm looking back and you can see if, if, you're, um, if you're doing any good sometimes and you're painting. You can see if you're doing any good. If you look at your painting through your camera, your phone lens. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told you all that before or not, but uh, yeah, if you're painting, take a picture of it. If you're concerned about whether or not, you know, something's right or wrong, or you're making a mistake or you're not making a mistake. Hey, Lisa, welcome. Thank y'all for joining. If y'all were saying anything, I can't, uh, I don't think I can see your comments. I've got my phone turned horizontally and sometimes I can't see comments. So when you jump on, if you'd say, hey, I might be able to see if you're on here, I can see your comments. Just say hi um, and ask questions if you want. I'm just talking about painting and the membership that I've got that I just opened, my all access membership. Um, but there's over 50 paintings in there now, 50, um, I was counted them last night. There's like 53, I think, and 56, uh, when I add the, um, March painting or March paintings, we're in May, getting ready to go for May and I'm saying March, goodness sakes, uh, May's coming up. Every month I add three new paintings to the video tutorial library. So you have three, three new paintings every month. You have access to those paintings full lifetime, or not full lifetime, as long as you're in the membership, you have access to those paintings. And um, you can go in and log into the website and um, paint them whenever you want. And to see which paintings are in the, the membership, the ones that you have access to, I showed some of them on here last night in a video on my Facebook, uh, on this Facebook page last night on a live, but if you wanna go in to my website, you can look at them. Uh, they're on my website at artbykarenwolf.com. And if you um, go into the, um, website, go to the home page, click on online tutorials, and go in there, and you can see um, the, all the videos that are on, on the online tutorials um, there on my website. All of those are in the membership, and Plus, there's extra, there's other ones that are in the membership that aren't 
um, on there, so that aren't on the website. So it's pretty fun. You get to learn to paint or become a better painter. If you already paint, you can watch them and just paint with me and become a better painter or just paint for fun. And if you have never painted before, you can learn to paint. So, um, lots of lots of things to do there. I'm trying to talk, walk, and talk and chew gum at the same time. That's a tough one. Uh, trying to paint and talk at the same time. There we go. Isn't that fun? It's fun. Paint these down here. Paint this one in over here. So that's going to be going down there. Those are there. I'm thinking I would like to have another one up here. But this isn't too bad. The uh, surface is a little rough to paint on, but I think it's... Uh, it's doable. I think you can do it. But I'm just taking some blue, some sienna, and some white. I made like a blue-gray color. And I'm painting in the daisies here. But the cart closes on Friday, so the, the membership is only open um, for the week, uh, this week. Today, um... Today, Monday, what is today? Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then at Friday at midnight, the cart will close. And then it won't open again in, for another six months. So, that's how that works. But if you enjoy painting, you want to paint more, that's, that's an idea. All right, so we've got that. Just putting some gray. Every time you paint white, you got to paint gray first, some form of gray first. A brown gray, blue gray, a purple gray, some kind of gray gray. I was thinking of putting it like it's in a jar down here at the bottom instead of just uh, stopping with it there. So I may do that. I'm gonna take my half inch flat. I'm just gonna go in and pick up some green. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of blue with my green. Make it a little bit darker. That's a hooker's green and an ultramarine blue. And I'm going to get my paint a little bit wet since it's this wood. I'm just pulling in uh, some of the the stems, just indications of stems. I'm not painting them in like all exact or anything. I'm just putting them in there. And then I'll put in some leaves here and there. I'm still using that blue-green color that I was using. Okay. 
Okay. And I might put another daisy down in here in the bottom. I'm going to back up and look at your stuff every now and then, guys. you got to back up and look at it and see what it looks like from far away. Because you can't tell when you're up in it, when you've got your face up in it. You can't tell too much about it. So I just picked up a little bit of, a little bit of yellow with my green. Just brightening up some of the greens there a little bit. I'm not pushing down very hard on my brush at all. And like I said, I got this at Walmart, this board. And no, I'm not getting a kickback from the Walmart. I just bought it and <laughs> decided to paint it. Isn't that funny? All right, there's that. And I'm gonna back up a little bit and see if I need any more flowers. You all think I need any more flowers? You think I need one? I think I need another one over here, and I'm thinking about someone right here. I think I need one right there. What do y'all think? Y'all think I need one right there? All right. Let's see. I think one of these other little doodad ones would be good. I got just a little one of those. Would be good. Think it. I'm not sure about that. Y'all think we need one right here in the middle? I'm going to put a jar, put them in a mason jar. And the jar will be right here. That's a little difficult to paint on, just a little bit. All right, uh, might have got that a little bit wonky right there. And you can't fix it. <laughs> on wood, you can't fix it. Like, you know how you can fix it on canvas? Mm, not so much on something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, paint in some highlights on my daisies. Go in with some white on my number four round into that blue gray color that I made. I'm just going into the white, get some of that gray on it, and I'm just going to pop back in some of the lights right here. I keep getting my paint wet because it is so um, rough that you need to get a little bit of water. Unless your paint is um, already liquid, then you don't have to worry about it. Mm. 
blue. Put a little bit more blue in it because we were getting too white. Now I got too much blue. And I'm leaving more of the shadow down on the lower part of the flower. I'm not going all the way down with my white. I'm leaving more of the, the dark on the lower part of the flower. I'm not going all the way around the petals. I'm leaving some of the darks down in the bottom. You see that. And then I'm going to go in with the um, centers. Get those a little bit more. So they'll show up a little bit more. Just getting some more in the center there. I'm just taking that sienna and the yellow dark on the shadow side. Then I'm gonna go in with some yellow and some white. I didn't even clean that brush. And do some yellow and white on the lip side. How's it looking guys? Think we need a flower down there or is that okay? Just taking a little bit of the green and I'm making that little um, piece there that is on the back of that flower underneath part before it blooms out. Hey Susan, hey Regina. If you guys are commenting, I can't see them. I don't know why. Are y'all commenting? I tried to see it on my iPad down here. Can see if I can get it on there again. Like now, I can't even find my can't find the live. Oh, it's always something. It's okay. All right, so I'm just going into some more white. <laughs> there, I see it. Somebody commented. I can barely see it. Tammy did. That's so pretty on that board. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I finally got to see a comment. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. And I was thinking that uh, either I couldn't see them or you guys weren't commenting. So thank you for that. But it, it's just something different to do, just something different to paint on. I know, I'm, you know, we paint on the canvas all the time, and that's fun, and I enjoy that, and I love it, and it's like, you know, like nothing else in the world. It's, it's so fun to me, but um, I just think every now and then, you know, it's nice to just step out and do something different. So that's what I did. And like I said, I had no idea how this was going to turn out. This was just kind of spur of the moment thing just ta-da all right 
So how'd we do? Can you see that? I think it looks pretty good. I need to step back and look at it though, cause I'm like, and I'm just gonna take a little touch of white, just pop, pop here in those centers. Just kind of pop those out a little bit. So they'll be a little bit more standout-ish. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white in that green yellow uh, mixture that I had, and I'm gonna pop some lights in my green here and get some lights in my some of my green. This has been real fun. I've enjoyed this. You know, I tell you guys all the time, painting therapy, and I'm telling you what, mm, you don't, if you're not doing this, you don't know what you're missing. And if you're afraid to try it, golly, Ned, don't be. Seriously, I mean, what in the world are you waiting on? Do it, please, 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 please. Cause um, you can paint over it. If you don't like it, you can paint over it. Do, try it again. Do something else with it. Well, I think that's just perfect. I don't think I need to add anything down in there. Do you all? I think that's good. I think that is a done deal. And you could do some little wispies if you want. You can do those little, um, you know, the little the wispy, the weeds, and the things. You can do some of those if you want. And I think, uh, I think that's a, I think that's a winner. <laughs> see you? I think that's a winner. All right. I'm gonna just wet my brush, my liner brush, and go down here and Sign this one. You never know, this might end up in my live sale. But these, um, I got this over, uh, like I said, I got this over to the Walmart um, in the, uh, on the end cap of a, a, of the craft area. And I think it was like $10, and uh, that to me seemed like a lot to pay for this board, but um, now how much is it worth? <laughs> right? So, you paint that too. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. That's a good one. So, pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So there. And all I did was I just looked at that. I got that idea. I was going to actually paint that and then I changed my mind. So there you go. So, um, but if you guys are interested in, uh, any more information, if you have questions or anything on the, um, all access membership, um, just, uh, I'll put that over there. Just let me know. Um, I, um, I've gone over it, I went over it last night, and I know um, I answered some some questions uh, some of the girls had had were, uh, well, the price was one, uh, it's $47, it's $47 a month, and like I said, you get access to the full library of tutorials, uh, which right now there's over 50, and um, there'll be near 60, um, pushing 60 here soon, um, the May, after I add the ones for May, I'll be up almost to 60. There'll be 56 in there. So they build by three each month. Each month I go in and I add three new painting tutorials. And, um, like I said, if you want to see the ones that are in there, the video tutorials, painting tutorials that are in there now, um, they're, um, on my website at artbycaramwolf.com and they're, um, on the online uh, virtual 
or online classes. I can't now. I can't remember what they were called. Uh, da, 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 da. I always call them one or the other, and whatever I say is always wrong. Online tutorials, uh, virtual classes, um, and um, for as long as you're in the group, you have access to the full library, and and you can go in, log in to the website and paint them at any time and watch them as many times as you want and, and paint any of them that you want. Um, and you will have access to a Facebook, a private Facebook group, and that's where I will communicate with you, and you can communicate with me there. Um, of course, you can communicate with me other ways. That's not the only way. Um, and I'm hoping that you'll post your paintings and things that you all finish and do in there. Uh, when you feel comfortable with that. Um, so everybody can see each other's work and we can um, just, you know, uh, get um, uh, inspiration from each other and um, just build on each other's creativity. Um, and it just, it, it's amazing. Um, just once you start using that, your creativity and you see something else and you're like oh gosh I could do that or oh that's pretty painting and oh I can I can add that so you can add your touch you can add different things um, you know your special touch to it and I see looking in here at that daisy in the screen here that I could have added like one falling over down here would be cute on either side that would be cute um, <laughs> building on my creativity um, but you'll be um, You'll learn a lot, you'll have fun. It's a great um, opportunity for you to learn and just um, grow as an artist and um, be able to do that in a, a community of other artists so uh, and other painters. So, uh, and don't be intimidated and think you're not good enough or you can't do it um, because you can learn by uh, watching uh, the tutorials and I show you um, how to paint and inside of the group inside of the Facebook group um, you can you know ask questions if you're having problems with something or you know whatever the case may be um, you know I have some that uh, reach out to me and want critiques on their paintings um, you know I've, I've painted this what do you think what do I need to change and um, you can do that inside the group and uh, get um, ideas of, you know, you've painted something, you've gotten it so far, and, you know, you, even if you're painting something on your own and you, want, and you want to paint something different and post it. If you paint other things, you can post those in the group. So you don't have to just paint um, one of mine and post it in the group. You can paint other things, too, because we all paint everything. Um, but it's, it's things like that. Um, it's just an opportunity to learn an opportunity to grow as an artist, an opportunity to be creative and, and uh, build on that creativity. And painting is therapy too. I say that all the time. And we all need that outlet. We need it. And um, if, I, if I didn't have that, I don't know what I'd do. Oh my gosh, I'd lose my mind. I'd lose my ever-living mind. Painting is my salvation. Well, second salvation. <laughs> and I do pray a lot. Oh, my gosh. Um, I, I tell, told the girls the other day, we were doing a, I was doing a painting party, and I told them I um, prayed all the way through it. They couldn't believe, couldn't believe it, I think. And I said, boy, yeah, I do. Heck, yeah, I do. <laughs> I can't do this by myself. <laughs> oh, shoot. But anyways, um... But I wanted to get on here and paint something. I hadn't painted for a while. I think that's real cute. I hope you guys like it. Um, I sure do. I think it's cute. Uh, it's pretty. It's not cute. It's pretty. Um, and like I said, maybe it'll end up in a live sale. I've got the live sale coming up. I'll maybe I'll put it in there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy painting. Uh, if you don't paint with me, paint with somebody. Um, but I'd love to have you. Uh, it's a great time. It's a great group. It's a, a wonderful opportunity to learn and grow. You get in the group uh, and have access to all that while you're in the group, 
but when you leave, you don't have access to it anymore. Um, but if you come back in the group, you have access to it all over again. So, um, but the only thing about that is um, the group is only open twice a year. So, um, if you do leave the group, you have to wait till it opens again before you can come back in. So, that's the only thing. So, but it'll be open today through Friday um, evening, this Friday evening at midnight. And then uh, it will close and it will not open again uh, for another six months. So, um, this is your chance. This is your opportunity, and I know there's some of you out there that um, were talking to me about it and um, on the fence. So, uh, if this is uh, something that you're considering, um, you got a limited amount of time to think about it. <laughs> Don't miss out, though. It's fun. It really is, and it's, um, it's a good opportunity. It really is, um, even if I do say so myself. So, I think I covered everything, though. You get the bonuses. Um, like, right now, you get bonuses throughout. Um, like, for the um, the live um, Daisy Challenge that I did, The if you were in the all-access membership, you would get in that for free. So, if I do things like that, um, unless it's a private paid event, um, you wouldn't get in that for free. But if it's something that I'm doing that I'm... Um, putting out there, then um, you get bonuses like that. You get bonuses throughout the month um, where um, I'll go into the group and um, paint different things. Um, just sometimes it's paint a painting. Sometimes it's paint a thing like, you know, clouds or, or different things like that. If you're having trouble with something, um, you know, you can post in there and say, hey, I'm trying to paint these flowers and I'm having trouble with them. I'll go in and do a demonstration and, um, you know, help you and show you how to do it. So, uh, I'm here to help. I want you all to um, learn. I want you to um, get from point A to point B um, the easy way um, and not have to go through... Um, years and years and years and years like I did of um, growing uh, and becoming a better artist. I want you to, to know the tips and tricks um, to get you there faster. Um, because there are tips and tricks and I've got them in my head and I can tell you. <laughs> and I do. Um, it just comes out. I can't help it. I just talk about it. I just can't help it. Um, but there's information about supplies and brushes and cleaning and color, the cleaning your brushes, the proper way to clean them, color mixing, um, different supplies that I use that I recommend, um, all that. So, all right. We'll do some more palette knife painting too because I'm really interested in that. I think that's fun. I did do a palette knife demonstration uh, in there, uh, the Brasithia. Um, I was pointing over there, it's gone. The palette knife for Scythia painting, I did that inside the group. So that's one that's in the group that's not out um, for the public. So there you go. Y'all get special stuff in there. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to just load you up. All right, thank you all so much. Y'all have a wonderful evening. If you have questions, put them in the comments or send me a message. Be glad to uh, answer any questions that you all have. And I'm real excited about it. And I want you to be excited about it too. So I hope you guys will join me. Uh, you all take care. God bless. And I'll see you back on here again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.